Thank you, Massimo. Um, next, we're on to Open Doc. Um, so, Asme Sabar. Hi, Neil. Uh, Asme Droval. He couldn't come from Morocco. Now we have Claude and Youssef from South Africa. Okay. okay. But uh, Asme has the slide. Hi, Neil. Can you hear no, me? No, Asme couldn't come. He really couldn't come to Italy because of the visa problem. So he didn't do anything in the Fab Academy. Okay. So, uh, 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 Claudio. Hi, Neil. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, my final project is uh, a smart and modular pot system for monitoring plant health. Okay. And um, the, this system is uh, produced in collaboration with uh, Youssef Boali, but uh, we, we followed your instructions, so we developed uh, all the process as a single project. And um, okay. this, uh, this, uh, this system is produced, um, is, uh, produced by free, uh, free pot, but maybe could be more. These pots are produced and designed uh, in 3D and printed by a 3D printer. And um, okay. um, they are modular, so you can connect and uh, change the, the position like a puzzle. And um, for uh, the, um, the sensor data, we use uh, three main sensors, a DHT11 to monitoring the humidity and temperature for the external environment, and a uh, storage moisture to monitoring the, the soil. And um, about the board, uh, we, use, uh, we use the Stasha kit designed by Daniele in Gracia, yeah. our colleague. And um, we produce the board and uh, we programming uh, we programming the board. Uh, so we connect um, I connect uh, all the sensor data and uh, I developed a, a parameter that uh, show when it's the moment to to weathering the plant the plant. And uh, these uh, these um, sensor data are printing on a display LCD. And uh, we pro uh, are programming also a um, um, web application, an application to show these, uh, these results. Okay, and, good. Uh, okay. So we have to keep going for time, but that looks successful. Good, thank you. Uh, Youssef next. Uh, hi, Neil, do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, so as uh, Claudio said, we worked on a similar projects, but we, we developed the same steps. Uh, each one developed uh, his uh, work. And I published even a small video, so if you, if you want to, uh, to see the, what, I, what I did. So the project, uh, uh, as I said, it's, uh, it's composed of, uh, let's say, uh, uh, four major activities. The, four, the first one, we designed the, the ports and then we 3D print them. And second one is to try to, to design the electronic part and uh, uh, decide which sensor to do. And we limit ourselves because the idea is to, to add other sensors, for example, light sensor and uh, pH, uh, pH sensor. But uh, we, we limit ourselves to the moist, uh, soil moisture and uh, air uh, humidity and temperature. And then uh, uh, connect all these uh, sensors to to the Fab Arduino, the the one that uh, it, it was the, designed by our colleague uh, Daniele. And uh, so, sorry, did, then, did you design? Uh, I'm not clear. Did you design and make electronics for this? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, this part uh, we we design it and uh, we assemble uh, the board and connect uh, these sensors and program all these sensors, uh, each one apart, and then make them communicate with themselves, uh, try to develop the algorithm that uh, decide, decides when to give water to the, to the plant. And then okay. we move to the computer side. And here uh, I had some problems, and uh, I tr finally I managed to do this. Because in, uh, in order to establish the serial communication between the board and uh, the computer, and uh, in order to display all this information, I had a hard time uh, during the last week, but uh, hope, uh, hopefully I, I managed to do this. And now okay. every and then uh, the, the board how, how did you divide the work between you and Claudio? 
uh, actually, the, for example, for uh, the, uh, the electronic programming and the electronic bond, every one of us, he developed his, uh, his algorithm and his sketches. And for the uh, uh, computer application, uh, we, we, we worked together in order to develop the computer ap application, but we, we, we did uh, different, uh, uh, different work uh, uh, related to the communication and uh, to the graphical user interface. And uh, let's say, the, the, and for the design of the ports, we, we, we started from a similar design and then we tried to make some minor uh, changes and then we printed different ports. Okay, but for the electronics, is it just a breadboard or did you make a PCB? Actually, we, we borrowed the, the, the one that has, uh, has been designed by uh, the, the Sacha kit. And then we, uh, we printed and uh, sold the, all the electronic components, the microprocessor and every stuff, uh, programmed, programmed it, and then connects the sensors to it. But you need to do a little more. I, I need to see that you can design a PCB, not, not just making one, but I want to see that you can design one. So some part of the system, you need to design the board. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, we want to see you can do all of the steps yourself, and one one of those includes you know how to design and fabricate a circuit, not just um, make one that's pre-designed. So you okay. need to go a little bit further with that. Okay. Uh, even if okay. Uh, in the in the exercise of electronics we already did this, we'll try to to do to uh, to design a new one for uh, for the projects. Just I want to see that you know how to do that. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Sure. Enrico Bassi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I designed a CNC machine oh, uh, cool. with the idea of uh, being able to cut big pieces with a small machine. Yeah. Uh, so to do that, you basically slide the panel inside the machine, uh, and the entire machine is moving on the panel. Uh, the uh, epsilon is basically the, the movement along the panel and it was the most complex one to solve, and I got to an intermediate solution. I'm not satisfied with that, but I had no time to redesign it after I realized uh, it had troubles. Uh, what what kind of trouble? Uh, well, uh, at the beginning, I glued a, a belt, a timing belt on the, on the lineal uh, guide to use yeah. it as a rail, and I used a closed belt as a caterpillar that ran over it. Uh, but that was uh, not, uh, how to say, uh, not enough tension, so I got it yeah. slightly. Uh, so okay. I had to change it, and uh, changing it, it, uh, it forced me to add another long belt, so increasing elasticity, backlash, and all the problem. Okay. So uh, the, the concept is to make something obviously cheap, self-replicating, uh, that was important to me, and yep. uh, tra easy to transport. So you can save space when you're not using it. With the three panels, you can make another uh, machine and you can easily move it. Uh, actually, the first test I did uh, cutting something was a scale model of the frame. But it's uh -huh. This one, I don't know if, if you can see it. It's yeah. Tiny, small machine. Uh, but this allowed me to understand that it's actually possible to fit it into the working area. Uh, and I have here the machine if you have any questions. Okay. No, it looks, it looks very promising. Um, I, I'm, I'll be interested to see the development. It looks like a very nice direction. Good. Thank you. Okay. okay. Good. Uh, Good. Then we have uh, Gianluca. Yes, I need. Go ahead. Okay. I create, um, I make a machine uh, um, inspired on uh, antibots uh, that uh, is possible to, um, to use on uh, any plane surface uh, and it's transportable and uh, lightweight. Uh, as told me, uh, I, I, I had some problem the, at the start with the, the fish line. Uh, that I used uh, to reduce the, the cost of the machine. But uh, now I discovered, uh, um, I found a, um, a fish line in Kevlar or, uh, um, uh, that is not uh, extensible. 
And so uh, I try, um, I, 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 I do many, uh, many tests, and uh, I, now I have a backlash. Uh, also with a, a little pen, uh, with a little, little tip in the pen. Uh, I tried also to, um, to engrave uh, aluminum. I, I don't know if uh, it's possible yeah, to, yeah. to see. Yeah. And uh, the circle is, uh, is not perfect because uh, the tension of the, the belt uh, and I haven't the, the right tip on the, um, uh, the, the mill, but uh, I, I want to try with uh, a correct tip. Uh, but if you see uh, in uh, the text, uh, the text uh, yeah, is, yeah. Uh, is milled well. Okay. So, so uh, what is, is, is the problem you have the belt is stretching? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the problem is that, that the tip of the, the mill is not the correct one now uh, because I haven't the correct uh, uh, tip. Sorry, the. the I, I'm sorry, the, the tip of the mill, do you have backlash in there? Uh, with, the, with the mill, a little bit, but with the pen, uh, no, I haven't uh, backlash. Okay. Good. Um, it looks very nice and useful. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Thank you a lot. Okay, so that was uh, Gianluca um, Mattia. I mean. Uh, my final project is a drone, and uh, to make this drone, I try to involve uh, as much uh, projects of uh, the digital fabrication. I have um, used the CNC milling for uh, realize a protection structure, uh, the laser cutter for the frame, the layer of the frame, that uh, uh, um, after I have um, attach uh, using re epoxy bracing and uh, I use the 3D printing for the foots and the battery holder and um, what else? Uh, ah, also the 8 foot output device using the EMU for the <coughs> accelerometer, magnetometer and uh, barometer and uh, now I want to involve also the networking communication using uh, the Bluetooth module to try to visualize the data uh, on a smartphone. Um, talk about the controller. It looks like you did a good job um, making the control work. Uh, the controller is a Sasha kit, a uh, modified Sasha kit uh, with uh, a power board uh, on, the, um, on the corner. And um, it's uh, powered by uh, DS one of the four uh, ESG that uh, supply five uh, volts of uh, current. And uh, I, I have soldered the EMU uh, directly on the board to avoid the problem of uh, disconnection of the pin. Yeah. And uh, I try to do it as little as possible. And uh, it's uh, six uh, centimeter for uh, edge. Okay, it looks very successful. That's a lot of different things to get working. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Good. Good. Um, then we had Simone. Hi, Neil. Yeah. My, my presentation, my PNG presentation is a little commercial, but now I have the project to show to you. Okay. This is a robotic uh, jaws opener. It's yeah. uh, made for the laboratory. I concentrate on the low cost of the material. Now a draw is gone. Um, I make all possible 3D printed uh, using low cost material like uh, aluminum bar instead of uh, calibrated bar. I made yeah. uh, bearing in PLA, uh, crystal HPS for have uh, less, um, uh, less resistance. I'm using um, jewelry uh, line that is a metallic line that is not extensible for the movementation. And um, now I, I burn out the electronics, so it, actually it doesn't work, but I have only to remake the board and uh, just reprogram it. Sorry, what did you burn out? The motor controller or? Yeah, I, I, I designed a motor controller with a 90 mega, uh, a modified Sasha kit. 
and I, I have a problem on the motor, so it make a short circuit and uh, it burn out all the power of the, the board. Some, some small okay. example okay. about that. Okay. Um, uh, Pierre Luigi. Hi, Neil. Hi. Um, uh, my project is a photogrammetric fab scanner. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, composed uh, by uh, a cylindrical box uh, with uh, inside uh, three uh, principal elements a circular rail on uh, aluminium that uh, I made uh, myself. The second one uh, is um, a telegraphic uh, support, telescopic support uh, with uh, a NEMA 8 uh, stepper motor inside and uh, a top dish on the top. Okay. And, the third, and the third one is uh, a light system, a LED uh, autonomous system. Uh, for the camera, I use uh, uh, a 9 million pixel uh, little PCB uh, camera, uh, AK HD uh, camera, that uh, is an autonomous camera with uh, an SD card inside. Okay. And uh, the camera is attached uh, on a support uh, on the rail, and the support is moved by the NEMA 17 uh, stepper motor. For the electronic, I modify a Sasha kit, of course, <laughs> and uh, with the, the polar stepper motors, and the software is uh, either Arduino. I have some problem. The camera, the, the machine uh, don't, don't work really good in this moment. Uh, we need some fine tuning. The problem is uh, the rail that I do uh, by myself. Uh, bend the, the aluminium profile and uh, I have some problem of uh, linearity of movement and the structure of uh, fluid uh, five millimeter of the structure is a little bit light for everything and uh, it's a little bit instable. I'm not happy for this but uh, I'm, I'm happy in general. <laughs> Okay, let's take a good first pass. Uh, one suggestion is um, uh, let's see, uh, this is Paul Debevec who, who yeah. makes light yeah. stages. And um, if you separately can control the illumination, orientation, and detection, um, what you can do is, sep for example, for a shiny surface, yeah. you can separate specular and diffuse. Um, for photogrammetry, it's hard to measure shiny things. Yeah. But if you can separately move the camera and the light, you can separate shiny scattering, specular, from diffuse scattering that's matte. Oh, OK, OK. Uh, I will try okay. To and um, Paul has a really nice paper from SIGGRAPH that explains separately moving them so that you can um, do 3D scanning of shiny objects. Okay, okay, yeah, we okay. Okay. do this. Good. Do this. It looks very promising though, it looks beautiful. And so it, it, it looks yeah. promising. Thank okay. you. Okay. okay, thank you Pierre Luigi. Next we had um, Saverio. <clears throat> yeah, hi Neil. Yeah. Okay, so this is my uh, local casting machine. There's a video if you want to see it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I, I made this uh, structure which is different from all the rotor casting machine I've ever seen because it's like a, a very big ball bearing. You have yeah. 66 um, steel balls inside the two rings. The, there is a motor which is a, a windshield motor, automotive motor. It's a 12 volts and uh, it's controlled by, guess what, a, a modified Sasha kit <laughs> with a transistor, a MOSFET. And you can control the machine with your computer, with um, a, a, a desktop application, or I have to implement it, but you can control it with a separate um, board to, to, with a potentiometer to move the, the speed. 
and yeah, the, the, the cast, which you can see in the, in the video, came out pretty well. But the thing is that the, the ratio of the, the teeth, the pinion is 11 teeth and the bevel gear is 77, so it's one to seven. It is a little too slow in the inner ring and too fast in the outer one. So yeah, the, yeah. The, the cast came out very thin in two sides and very large in the other one. So, but I, after that, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I also put a little of attention to the design and style of all the thing. I really enjoyed with with uh, CNC. It's all CNC. The structure is uh, CNC from one single uh, sheet of uh, MDF, 12 millimeter MDF, and then there are 3D printed parts and just a little. Uh, laser cut uh, plywood part to cover the, the controls. Good. There's also um, a, a thing that a ring that I uh, that I use to decouple the motor from the, the ring so you can move the, the machine uh, separately otherwise the motor would not turn uh, if you move it. So great. for ease in transportation. Great. That looks really useful. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, nice. So very well. Then we had uh, Vincenzo Saverino. You hear me? Yep. yep. Neil. Go ahead. Neil. Yep. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, is related to a 3D table consisting of, of with a servo and a RGB LED. Can you view my my prototype uh, in video? Can you can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what uh, what I did uh, in the in the moment? Uh, I realized system I uh, and uh, and uh, RGB led the, the, the electronic driven by uh, Sasha kit uh, as a, a researcher in engineering uh, I, I, I I'm a, a sponsor of my colleague uh, uh, and uh, now uh, the next step is to improve the system and complete a 64 pin. This uh, each pin can move it by a server motor. Okay, we're getting audio dropouts, but I can see. Um, uh, same comment as before. I want to see you design a PCB. So. In addition to the Sasha kit and the breadboard, I want to see that you can design a PCB as well as make one. Okay. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but looks promising. Okay, thank you. And then Danielle. Um, it looks like the, the. It looks like everybody loves Sasha kits. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, uh, as you may know, uh, I developed now, the... Sorry, D Daniela, is, is this a completely separate drone, or...? A complete, yeah, it's a completely separate drone, yes. We forked the project on the beginning, because uh, Mattia wants to focus more on the structure, and uh, I okay. want to focus more on the obstacle avoidance, uh, artificial intelligence algorithm in order to uh, autopilot the, the drone. And okay. uh, you can see some uh, avoidance uh, successfully experiments, also with uh, with person. So the, the drone <laughs> avoid is capable to detect the obstacles, even a small uh, obstacle like a person instead of a wall. And uh, in this situation, the autopilot will uh, take the control, will overwrite the, the control of, of, the, of the remote uh, uh, remote control. Um, and uh, but it will do in, in a soft way. It uh, will interpolate. It will uh, use some uh, uh, simple mathematical functions in order to 
adjust the, the values of the throttle, roll, roll pitch, and so on. So, uh, so talk us uh, through the low level control stability and then the high level planning. Uh, I have, um, I didn't not manage the, the um, high level uh, uh, recognition because I had a lot of noise on the uh, down uh, uh, sonar, sonar sensor. Okay. So I skipped this part and I just interpolated the, the throttle from the from the, the remote control. Okay, and, but uh, talk about the, just the low level control, the stability and uh, orientation. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, the, um, uh, mainly the, the, the control is uh, uh, made by the by MultiWi software. And I, I just uh, write in the, its uh, uh, serial protocol some commands when uh, an obstacle is detected. In the, so I, uh, I, I am in charge to control the drone, uh, uh, but if, the, and if an obstacle is detected, the autopilot will take the control and they will read the last commands from the user and will uh, try to soft adjust them in order to avoid the obstacle. When the obstacle okay. is no, no more in the, in the field of view, the autopilot uh, uh, give the, the control back again to the, the pilot. Okay, um, I'm really impressed that OpenDot got two uh, drones flying. Yes, okay. So Good. you can see some, uh, some parts of the drone. I mixed some technologies in order to uh, get it smarter than uh, the normal drones. Okay, um, talk, talk about your future plans for Sasha Kit. <laughs> uh, uh, I know I'm working for uh, engineering, engineering informatica. I'm a junior researcher, so I need to talk uh, with them. I, I maybe my, my intention, my personal intention is to develop this board to begin everything. Uh, and uh, uh, most important, uh, everything uh, uh, that is possible to do in a fab lab. So, okay, um, Fiori and Jean-Michel are setting up um, Fab Economy to buy and sell things you can make in um, the fab, e fab Economy, to buy and sell things you can make in Fab Lab. So maybe you can um, distribute uh, Sasha kits through Fab Economy. Okay, thank you for the, for the suggestion. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, nice work, uh, Open Dot. a lot of nice projects. Good, thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, then we're back.